everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and in today's video I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners in Python by showing you scatter plots. So this video is going to be a little bit in depth, I'm going to show you a whole range of things you can do with scatter plots and hopefully it will be useful for those of you that want to learn more about scatter plots or are just looking to improve their data analytics skills. So as usual, I'm going to put my glasses on and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, awesome. So we're going to start from where we finished off in the previous video, which was plotting grids in Matplotlib. So we're going to just hashtag all of this out like I do, you know, the start of every kind of new section. And that's just so anything we write isn't going to interfere with what we do now. So I'm going to show you scatter plots. Now these are honestly awesome. I know I've mentioned them previously in, in this video. Uh, I know I've mentioned them previously in previous sections. So here we've got scatter here, but this is going to be showing you some really cool things you can do with scatter plots. And I'm very excited to get it underway. So we've already seen, so I'll just put here, you know, we've, we've already seen, uh, we've already seen how to plot multiple, multiple scatter plots on the same graph and I'll just copy and copy the paste uh, and I'll just copy the code that I use for that so here we go so let's we have two different classes and I will just copy all of this from what we did and I'll just kind of change a few things around just so you know it's not too complicated we'll just kind of sort things out here okay so what we had we had different measurements from class one so we had you know so we had different measurements from a class one, a hypothetical class one. These here were the shoe sizes and this was the corresponding height. So we had a student with size five shoes and height 160 centimetres and then so on with this eight and 180 and 10 and 200. We plotted a scatter plot. We labelled it with a legend uh, and all that does is it will have a little key. Um, if you're a little bit confused, then I'd recommend checking out the video where I, I mention labels, but it's honestly okay if you don't understand because it's it's not you know the essence of this video. So we had uh, measurements from class one and we then also had measurements from class two. Now what I'm, what we did in the previous video was we changed the, the font of the title, which if you're interested in how to do that, then check out that video. But for today, I'm just going to omit that because it can, you know, get a little bit confusing it'll make the plot look a bit <laughs> a little bit bright if you've watched the previous video so i'll just run this and i'll show you what happens and i'll just minimize that okay awesome so what this has done is it has plotted class one which is blue plotted class two which are orange and we've labeled the shoe size is the bottom axis so x-axis and the heights here are the y-axis and then we've just labeled the title here so the title and you know how to do x label y label title very very simple just this chunk of code here and don't worry this whole you know section of code will be on my github so you know don't worry everything that i've done in this tutorial series will be entirely on my github so we've done this we've got you know these plots here and now i'm just going to show you how you can kind of do some cool things with scatter plots which i just think are honestly amazing so something that you can do and what I will do, and I'll just pop it here. So these are the measurements. Let's just break this down a little bit, have a few spaces in between. So these are the measurements from class one. Now what I'm gonna say is, we can assign each each scatter, kind of scatter point, to be a specific color. Let's say we have three students in class one, and each of them, let's say, has a favorite color. Um, so this way, you know, we can, decipher which student is which by their favorite color and this is on the assumption that each student has a different favorite color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just say favorite color um, I'll, I'll write the british version the color here we spell it with a u i appreciate americans and, and other people don't so um just bear with that for a second we're going to create a list and we're just going to have the list of all the colors you know the three students colors favorite colors so let's say student Let's say, okay, let's say this is, let's say student one has a favorite color of green, student two has a favorite color of red, and just simply the final student has a favorite color of blue. Now we have this favorite color, or let's say favorite colors. And what you can do is you can input this into your scatter. So you can say, you know, ordinarily we can say, okay, let's have our color as red. And what that would do, it was, it would take every color. So this is class one, plot class one. So class one points, which are blue, they would all they would all be red because we've just said let's change them to red. So I'll run that for now, and we'll we'll show you what happens when you just change the color itself specifically. So red. Notice now all the points have changed to red. Awesome. So that's how you change every single you know point in class one. What you can do, and this is really really cool, 
is you can actually set it to be the favorite colors that we've defined up here. And this is the list of green, red, blue. So I'll rerun this and watch what happens. How cool is that? We have each of the student has its favorite color assigned to it. So we've got green, red, and blue, which is what we have here, green, red, and blue. So that is how you can assign each scatter point to be a specific color which is really cool, very, very enjoyable and a lot easier when you have smaller, you know, points. If you have 100 points, it can be a little bit, I suppose, um, more difficult. But I'll explain that in just a second where we can, where I'm going to, but I'll explain that in just a second where I'm going to show you colour maps, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to show you now is something known as a colour bar. So for this, I'm going to start a completely new example. I'm just going to hashtag all of this out just because I appreciate there's quite a lot going on in, in you know, in all of this code here. We're going to start again. So let's say color bar okay so let's say we have shoe size of students and let the np array of let's say we have five six seven let's say the height uh, an np array of let's say 160 170 and 190 i think that's quite tall but we'll go with it uh, and then let's say something else let's say we'll have um something like let's say siblings so number of siblings the the student has so we'll say okay one has one one has three and let's say one has a really really big family and has eight what we can do now is you may think well there's three different things how are we going to plot that onto a plot so we're going to say plt dot show uh, plt dot scatter we're going to say let's do the shoe size for the x-axis we'll do heights for the y we're going to let the colour equal siblings. Now you may be wondering what's going on here and I'll just explain in a minute. Then we're going to say the C map, so the colour map is going to be a rainbow. Now I'm going to say plt.colorbar and we're going to say plt.show. Now I'm going to run this and show you what happens. That's still running, isn't it? Okay, awesome. So you're probably thinking, okay, I have no idea what's just happened there. What is going on? So essentially what you can do with matplotlib and with color bars, and honestly, this is so, so cool. Let's say you have three different, let's say you have three different variables. So here we have shoe size, height, and siblings. What you can actually do is we can plot, what did we have for X? Shoe size. So shoe size on the bottom, then we have heights on the top. So, you know, 560. Here, I think we had six and 170. Yep, here. And then finally the final point now what you can do is you can color code that according to how many siblings they have so here we have purple and purple corresponds to one so the first student had one sibling then this student here so around that color is about here so three we put three perfect and here this is red so eight how cool is that we have managed to create a color bar with three different variables and you know put it like this this can be you know made to see this can be plotted a little bit nicer with a title you know, axis all things like that a title and axis all things like that but you know i just thought that was really really cool and that is how you plot color bars on scatter plots which i used as part of my data analytic internship that i did a lot so yeah if you're going to go into data analytics or just coding in general this is very very handy especially when you're interpreting data so that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.